I understand. I understand the. I understand why everything went the way it went, and I understand that it didn't excel to a point that it didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just wanna, I just wanted to let you know, bro. I don't got, I don't got no smoke with you, my nigga. We can make money together, my nigga. My, like, but just give it, just give it time. You know what I'm saying? We can link, we can talk, we can chop it up. Um, I'm in LA right now, so if you ever wanna talk, let me know, and we'll, we'll, we'll chop it up, my nigga. Yeah, 100, bro. I'm out in New York, but I'll be back soon, so I'm gonna, I'm being in contact, bro, because, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's too much money out here to get, my nigga. To be made, G-shit. Just know this is my number, though. This is my personal self, so you can actually text me, shit. We're gonna chop it up. All right, 100. All right, brother, love. Love. Hey, man. <clears throat> uh, rest in peace to Triple X, man. I heard it's another little rapper named Wapo got killed today, too. Both shot. <clears throat> You know, I look at it like this, bro. You know, I, I grew up in the gangster rap days and all that. But half these kids that's that's rapping about, and I ain't talking about Triple X, I'm just talking about in general. Half these kids that's talking about shooting up guns and toting the F in and extra clip, all that shit, ain't never been shot at. I never shot at nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's time to change the narrative and the lyrics, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's And, that, and that's just what it is. We, we keep rapping about pull up, nigga, I'm going to shoot you. We keep rapping about... Uh, uh, all this, I got to extend on all that. Yeah, you know, some people, it, it, it's a hard, it's a reality in the hood, but everybody that rap about it ain't done it. You know what I'm saying? And I just think if we change the narrative in some of our rhymes, then it might change the narrative in the places we live, in the neighborhoods we live. Just think about that, bro. I hate, to see, I got boys, so I hate to see that happen to anybody's child, but music got a lot to do with it. First and foremost, man, let me start this video off by saying R.I.P. To, to XXX. You know, it's a shame that a young nigga had to lose his life at 20 years old when he got so much greatness in him. But you know what else I noticed, though? His death has become a reality check for a lot of you young niggas on the Internet. See, I see a lot of you young niggas, y'all coming on the Internet, y'all got them sad demeanors, y'all down. You know, reality is starting to kick in because y'all starting to realize that this shit ain't no game out here in the streets. This shit is real. But why do it take for a young man to lose his life for you goofy balls, you goofy ass niggas to reconnect with who y'all truly is? Oh, now niggas don't want to be tough no more when that shit go down. Let me tell you something, man. When you playing with this street shit, a nigga will knock jelly out your biscuit, man. So you niggas better rethink what you're doing out here, man, and smarten up right. Seeing X like that broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? X is the last person I expect to see like that. Hey yo, what it do, what it do, man? It's your boy Roscoe Dash checking in, man. And I really just want to say, all these blogs out here, man, that's posting this negative ass shit about this man X getting shot yesterday. Y'all so out of pocket, man. Take this shit down. The last thing this family don't need to be seeing, or the last thing this family need to be seeing, is not that nigga dead on the scene of the crime. Take that shit down, man. The major publications, and y'all posting a dead body. The funeral, the wake, none of that shit even happened yet. Y'all niggas got this dead body at the scene of the crime where the surveillance foot footage hasn't even been released yet. And y'all niggas got this shit posted and plastered up everywhere, bro. Y'all looking sad, man. Take that shit. I just seen, um, seen that, that this triple X, uh, whatever his name is, he, he's dead. The American rapper. Um, I didn't know his music, but I seen he, these viral videos and all that, so I know he was young and I know he was talented because he, he was doing well. But then I seen a few videos of him, like, saying, if I die, I just want people to know this. You know, if I ever pass away, I just want people to know that. You know what? You can't speak like that, you know. You have to be thinking positive and the things that you say out loud, especially if you've got a big voice and that's going to... And the message is gonna hit thousands, if not millions, of people. You have to be very um, careful in the message that you're putting out there. So you, you need to the things that you say are the things you're gonna speak into reality. The things you believe are the things what are gonna happen. So let's just bear that in mind and, and let's think positive and let's talk positive.